There are a couple of exercises at the end of chapter 4 that are based on what we just talked about in the last part relating these known percentages of product to what we might expect if we didn't know that there was a favoritism for particular radicals to be formed. This last slide kind of summarizes what we've just seen for chlorine or chlorination of a alkane. If you do this thing with bromination, there's even more preference. Uh, these are again comparing the relative rates of making a tertiary halogen compound versus a secondary one versus primary. And in each case, the primary one is the one we find we make in least amounts. Uh, at least there's less of a preference for that one because the corresponding primary radicals are not as stable. For bromination though, the tertiary type of bromide has an enormous preference over even secondary. And even secondary compared to primary, that's 82 to 1. Notice how much of a preference difference that is compared to chlorine. What that means is for bromination, if you've got a chance to make a tertiary bromide, you make that almost exclusively and hardly any of the other products. And sometimes that's a good thing because we may be wanting to make a single product that we don't have to separate from a bunch of isomers. And even if there's a choice between secondary and primary positions, uh, for bromine 82 to 1, is, is, that's a very big preference for secondary. And like I said, there's a couple of problems uh, that are in the homework and discussed in the answer keys that, that, that deal with this type of substitution.